Good evening, everyone. <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. Welcome Facebook Live. Join me, Facebook Live. Let me share my daily devotional message all of you this evening. Good evening from here in the Middle East country of Qatar and good afternoon, uh, USA. And also, good evening, Europe and Africa. And good morning, Asia, especially my beloved country in the Philippines. <clears throat> Before I share my message to all of you this evening, thank you, Abba Father, for this evening to continue to bless me to share your gospel and kingdom. I went to Paragada. I am, I am facing for this challenge, but I'm still thankful for everything that I have, for all those blessings that you bless me. Thank you, Father God, for your grace and mercy. Thank you, Father God, for your strength that you strengthen me. Thank you, Abba Father, for, for wisdom that you're giving me. Thank you, Father God, for having a spiritual thoughts that I'm still, I am still, Father God, that to be kind to everyone. Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, I pray tonight, this evening, that you give me more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to preach the gospel. Lead me your Holy Spirit. Fill, your, fill me your Holy Spirit in my whole mind and heart, spirit, and souls to teach me how to preach the gospel. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Father God, that this evening you bless me. In Jesus' blood, I pray. Amen. Good evening, everyone. So uh, let me share my daily devotional message to all of you and in King James Bible version. Daily devotion, do you feel, do you feel like giving up? This is our message this evening. Our topic is, do you feel like giving up? So I will read my scripture in the box of first Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast and movable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. First Corinthians chapter 15 verse 58 so i will share my daily devotional message first before i share my some of my scripture the new international version translate the opening scripture as therefore therefore my my beloved brethren stand firm therefore is stand firm amen let nothing move you. Always give yourselves. Amen. Always give yourselves fully. Fully the work for the Lord. Because you know, you know. Okay, it was saying that. Okay. Because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Amen. So when you are born again, it was saying. When you are born again, or we became, we became born again. Amen. Hello, that the breath. God bless you. Thank you for being on this evening. So when we became born again, you have a new found, new found desires to do. Okay, new found desires to do. Amen. Okay, wait. We need. Hello, brother Darinok. God bless you. Thank you so much. Okay. 
because you know that your labor is in the Lord is not in vain. So when you are born again, you have a newfound desire to do God's work. God bless your brother. Okay. Take advantage of this desire and work for God in the church. Amen. In the church, you can work as a counselor. User. Okay. So if if we are in a church, okay, we can we can work like counselor. Amen. Or user or acquire members. Amen. Or teacher or whatever it is or etc. So in in your community, amen, you can work as a helper, politician, evangelist, amen, or whatever it is. There are times when for some reason or other you may feel, okay, you may feel like giving up on the work that God has assigned to you. Such a feeling is not from God, but from the evil one to discourage. Amen. So from our enemies to discourage us. Amen. So use you to stop the evil that discourages us to stop our works. Amen. To stop the good works you are doing for the Lord. Okay. So in a short word, the enemy is trying to discourage us to stop, <clears throat> to stop if what we are doing in this time, okay, working to our Lord God. This is what I feel this time, okay, okay, let me finish. So we need to stand firm, stand firm in the word of God because we are a human we can feel this courage or we can feel this appointment we can feel hurts we can feel everything so all we need is to stand firm stand firm okay to the words of god amen okay stand firm in the word of god and let nothing let nothing to move you to move us amen because the moment <clears throat> because the moment we stop doing the work of God okay we lose the rewards that God has prepared for us amen so in the short words the enemy is trying to stop us trying to stop us to discourage that we are doing our works to our Lord God doing good works to our Lord God Amen. In Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 7, King James Bible version. Be ye strong, therefore, and let and let not your hand be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. Okay. So this is why sometimes I feel to giving up. I feel to giving up because of my boss always keep promises and keep me waiting for my ticket to fill me this courage to fill me depressed to fill me stress so that i will stop if what is my job doing a good works from up so if i feel stress already and feel the stress this is cause of like you know you stop already if what God's given you. It's saying these enemies attacking me. But I never give up. Because because this one is filled me to discourage. So we need to stand firm. We need to stand firm for all challenge that we need to feed ourselves, spirit and souls by the words of God. Because the words of God through our prayers is our weapons to face so many challenges. Matthew chapter 10 verse 40 to 42. 
King James Bible Version. He that receiveth, you receiveth me. And he that receiveth me, Jesus was saying, okay, and he that receiveth me, receiveth him that sent me. It means it, if who receiveth him, receiveth Jesus, okay, receiveth the Father who was sent his begotten son into this world to become a human. Amen. Okay. And so then, he that receiveth, hello, sister Rosina Akinola, he that receiveth a prophet in the name of prophet. So this was the scripture saying. So if someone received as a prophet, Receive as a prophet. Amen. Shall receive as prophet rewards. And he that receiveth a righteous. Amen. A righteous man in the name of a righteous man. Shall receive it a righteous man's reward. And whosoever shall give to drink. Unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water only in the name of a disciples. Verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. Amen. So we always for all challenge in life that you feel giving up only our weapons only our weapons is the words of god and to pray because if we if we read and study the words of god and we feed ourselves the words of god and telling us telling us the truth how to face challenge and straighten us Amen. Books of Psalms, chapter 55, verse 22. Cast, cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. So in the books of Psalms, what's saying? That we need to cast out our burden burden upon to our lord god amen and we shall sustain amen and we shall we shall never suffer the righteous to be moved amen because did you know if you experience if you experience for all challenges and you feel like giving up, amen, you don't have energy in this body. You cannot feel energy. Amen. But those challenges, we are tired to think, amen, let's call upon the Lord and let God handle everything. The rewards is from up. Amen. First Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 3. Remembering without ceasing. Remembering without ceasing your work of faith and labor of love and patience. You see, in the first Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 3, I will read it again the scripture. Remembering without ceasing, pray without ceasing. Okay, remembering without ceasing your work of faith. And labor of love. Amen. And patient of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ in the sight, in the sight of God our Father. Amen. So it means is all this, all this challenge in life of every people. Amen. We always put 
faith from here without the faith. Amen. And always be patient. Amen. And don't lose your hope. Even though it take long times to wait. But we need to wait patiently in God's time and don't lose our hope. Sometimes I feel discouraged because waiting patiently, waiting patiently for a long time wants to go home. But I can force myself that I want to go home because I don't have my ticket. So I need to wait patiently in his time from up and never, amen, never or don't lose hope because Jesus is our hope. Amen. But I can feel I can feel to giving up, but all I can do is prayer without ceasing and faith without the thing to trust from up in his time that I can go back home. I feel a stress is really is too much stress and I feel depressed because I'm waiting patiently. It's the same answer my boss was keep telling me it's the same answer and the same answer keep telling me that the ticket is so expensive but i trusting from up that he is the one to make the way because i do believe i have my big assignments to face it so all of this challenge even though i can feel already very stress too much stress i can feel already to giving up but all i can do is talk from up i cry i stress i want to go home i want to see my family my body is tired for what working working for seven days a week without day off you can do imagine work like an animal seven days a week i am working more than three years i am still here sometimes i feel giving up but here in my mind in my thoughts always i think positive always i put here positive because i believe i believe in my heart I am a strong woman. I am a warrior. Because he is from up. Is the one. Is the one who pushing me. That I will face for all of this battle. All this challenge and trials in life. This is all we can do. Don't ever give up that you can feel like you pull down already. But you always put here positive. Amen. Because even those, the scripture or the Bible, telling us. Amen. Remembering in 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 3. Remembering without ceasing your work of faith. And labor, labor of love and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. In the sight of God and our Father in heaven. Amen. So then the scripture, the scripture can telling us everything. All we can do is always to stand firm by the word of God. Stand firm if what the Bible says. Stand firm always from up. And don't ever give up for everything, for all challenges in this world today. That we are all facing challenges. Amen. Because I'm example myself. I'm example myself. 
struggling, working, be retired, doing ministry, serving the Lord God. But even those, even those, I am very tired, but I never give up to serve from up. Doing my work from up. Because this is a big miracle blessing that God blessed me, this job. But the enemies, the enemies attacking us spiritually, physically, everything. Amen. Attacking us to feel giving up and discouraged. This is how the enemies attacking. But I put here, will not win. Amen. We need to stand firm. Amen. So it was saying, let nothing, let nothing to move us. Even our enemies. Because in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Jesus Christ is our personal Savior. Amen. No matter it is, I experience. And this is what I am facing this time. Even though some of my friends, they go away. They don't like me because I am here serving the Lord God. So some of these people or my friends, they go away because they don't want to hear and listen the words of God. But still it's my job. I like it or not, this is my job that God giving up. Giving us, giving this, this assignment. So I'm not giving up. But sometimes I feel, I feel giving up. I cry. Sometimes I don't feel to it. But here in my mind, here and in my heart, I always hear put. Lord, you know how I struggle. You know this challenge whenever I go, even though I'm inside the car. I went out, but here in my mind, I'm talking. My mind meditate, even my eyes was open, but my brain and my thoughts in my mind was talking from up. Lord, whenever I go, I do believe you protecting me. Even though I face these talents, but I still never giving up. Sometimes I feel this courage, but put in my mind here, I always think positive that I do believe in God's time. I'm going back home to my beloved country in the Philippines. It's really it's too hard for me. I'm waiting for almost for four years. For four years, I never see my family. But I never give up. And also how, how people treat you. Always judging you like this and like that. They doesn't know what is my job. Did you know what? I work seven days a week. But I have time to serve my Lord God to share his gospel. I have my time. I have my time always for him from up. Even though I sleep early in the morning and wake up early in the morning. But I give time for him. Because I understood. I understood what is my job that God's given me. For all challenges. For all challenge that I am facing, amen, I always trust him from up. This is all we can do. Trust the Lord. Stand firm. Continue believing in him. His power. Amen. No matter what, only from up can help us, can protect us, can bless us. Giving us mercy for everything, straighten us. Amen. So then, what the scripture say? 
Amen. This, I'm telling straight. I don't care what people say about me. But in just what I said, we are all Christian. We are all believers. We are here. We all know we are serving one God. Because we have only one God in this world. For all challenge that fill me discourage, amen. For those people how they treat me, amen. I'm asking help for anyone, but I feel like they kicking me out that I am not their brothers and sisters. But if someone comes to me, all I can do as much as I can help them, I'm still doing to help people. Because what the Bible say is we need to we need to do good to others. Kindness. Amen. This is why we have you can hear what what the scriptures say in the books of Matthew chapter 10, 4, 40 to 42. He that receive it, you receive it me, and he that receive it me, receive it him that sent sent me. So then if who receive it Jesus, okay, receive it who's our father in heaven who sent his begotten son into this world. Okay, so all Christian people, amen. He that received a prophet in the name of prophet shall receive a prophet. Rewards, amen. And he that, amen, received a righteous man in the name of a righteous, okay, shall receive it a righteous man's rewards and whosoever shall give to drink amen unto one of this like a one a cup of cold water only in the name of a disciples verily i say unto you he shall in no wise lose his reward so then what kind of christian we are all people around the world that we doesn't know how to care our brothers and sisters we doesn't know how to show love we doesn't know how to encourage to inspire people around the world what is our job this is my point amen so even though I feel discouraged to anyone, I don't care. I don't care about the people. You help me or not, I'm still happy. I'm still smiling. I'm still doing my job. No one can discourage me to giving up if what is my job. Because I know I have a big God who is the one to make the way for me to help me how to reach in Manila, Philippines. Amen. All those people, they love drama. We are not here for become a movie star or popular. We are here. We are here to spread the gospel, to inspire people, to encourage people, to telling the truth, to speak the truth. This is our job. To feel anyone, don't giving up. If you feel giving up, then how? You will might be poor. There's a big trouble. Amen. So where is the people? Where is all my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ? Amen. I want to go home. I will shout. In public places, amen, that he is still good all the time. God is good 
all the time, even though you are facing challenge, even though you are facing trials. But God is still so good all the time that always, always only firm up to hear us. Amen. To hear us that we need to call him upon up. Amen. You know, I can feel something. I don't have strength. But I always from here, I'm not going to give up. Even those my enemies attacking me. My enemies attacking me here in my mind. I always hear, oh Lord, I know you're the ones to protect me. Father God, if I do wrong, I accept my wrongdoing, I repent and ask for forgiveness. I want to stand firm. I want to stand firm to follow Jesus Christ doing my job. Amen. Instead, your brothers and sisters that we are all believers of Christ Jesus, you need to support. To support not going to feel down. But I saw this all people here. Amen. For those people here always like dramas. Then how you can tell me you are a good Christian or you are believers of Christ Jesus or you are the followers of Christ Jesus because you didn't have see or show your care. You show your love to so what we call like this. We are acting here. Like we are a superstar. We need to be real. Genuinely. Amen. This is why this is why the Bible. Okay, the Bible, we need to read the Bible. Amen. We need to be, we need to be strong to our Lord God. We need to stand firm to our Lord God, no matter what. Amen. Not only I'm telling you or I'm sharing to all of you here that going to, ins to inspire you or to encourage you. But this is the truth. We need to strong to our Lord God. Amen. We need to pray without ceasing that our faith without ceasing. Never doubt your faith. God can do everything. God can change everything. Sometimes God tested us if how we are strong for him. Amen. So for this, for this challenge, what I am facing for, I'm still here stand firm to serve our Lord God. Amen. So this is my message to share all of you this evening. Daily devotion. Do you feel like giving up? If you feel like giving up, call upon his name and talk to him. Amen. Talk to him and meditate in your mind. Lord, I want to feel your presence. I want to feel your Holy Spirit in me to strengthen me. Amen. You know, you know how I feel. You know what's happening, what's going on. Amen. But I never stop believing in you. I never stop trusting in you for everything is in your time. I know it's your time is perfectly. Amen. So my scripture I share with all of you is First Corinthians chapter fifteen, verse fifty-eight, and Second Chronicles chapter fifteen, verse seven, and Matthew chapter ten, verse forty to forty-two, and books of Psalms fifty-five chapter fifty-five, verse twenty-two, and First Thessalonians chapter one, verse three, King James Bible version all my scripture to share to all of you amen
but also we need to one another to praise to one another to show our support that one of our members or one of our brothers and sisters needs prayers amen so this time i'm asking for all prayers for all prayer warriors and other world prayers for me that as soon as possible i can go back home already in my beloved country philippines because i want to share the gospel of god in everywhere i want to hear i want to let people hear that even though we are facing this challenge but god never leave us nor forsaken us so don't ever give up for all the challenge in life amen Good evening, everyone. This is Bella Ostaga from Bella's Ministry. Bella's Ministry, what are you of Christ? United for Christ. And pray and share ministry. And also the power of God's ministry and the power of God's church. All of this God's ministry here in social media, but the power of the church is my Filipino church, is my church in Manila, Philippines. The power of the church is my church in Manila, Philippines, and this is all a Filipino church. We don't have religion, but stand for Jesus Christ. It's only for Jesus Christ. Amen. So the power of the church at the Good Faith Learning, founder Byron Gallis from Australia. We are helping show children around in the Philippines. Been long time, I'm asking for help for all my bro beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. But even, you know, if I will say two dollars a month, no one can help. But still, still I am happy. I think it's not bad to help children to give them foods because this is all we need to help people to help children share our blessings amen all the time i'm asking for help for two times go fund raising money to help for my air ticket but even single dollars nobody helped me but i am still here serving my lord i never give up now i learn a lot of different people around the world that even though that they are christian amen but also it's too hard to say something because they will say that you are judging. You judge them. All I can do is prayers. I trust from up. I put in God's hands to handle everything for me. I know in God's time, amen, is perfectly. So I keep praying. So I'm asking for all prayer warriors to pray for me. Pray for me. Our prayers unite. The power of prayers united in all over the world. Especially for the whole world. For all people. And also if every country, every nation. If what's going on in this world today. Let's pray together. Amen. Thank you so much for those people always there for me. Thank you so much, Dada Brad, Bradley Barrett, Bradley Barrett, Clyde Brad Sr. Thank you so much for everything. For Sister Katrina Philil, for Sister, Ak Sister Akinola, Sister Akinola always there, Brother Darinok, everyone who always there to support me. Cynthia Ann Salazar. Catherine Hollingsort, for all my sisters in Christ, Sister Martha Richards, prayer warriors, woman, woman of God, Mabish Bunch, everyone, Sister Evelyn True from Africa, for everyone that even though I cannot mention all your name, because I know every time you're always there to support me, I know, I know all of you. I know who is a real person and a good person. Because even those early in the morning or middle of the night, if I need 
if I need someone to talk, always ready for me to, to help me and to protect me. Amen. Thank you so much, everyone here. God bless you and good evening from here in the middle. Amen. Thank you so much, Brother Brad, Brad Lebaret, everyone here. Antonio Rivera, God bless you. Sister Rosina Akinola, thank you so much. My cousins, Estimo, Estimo Lord is watching from Saudi Arabia. Jessica Mesek, thank you so much, Sister Jessica Mesek. I really appreciate it this evening. God bless you. Woman of God, what are you, my wish wants? Amen. Dari Nock, always there. I know. Bradley Barrett, Bradley Glide Barrett Jr., Dari Nock, everyone always here to help me and to support me. I'm very much appreciated. Thank you, everyone. I love you all. And pray for me. I need all your prayers for me. Good evening. I love you guys.